Right, hello everyone, uh, welcome back to another episode of Jay's Allotment Diary. I'm Jay and this is my garden. It is now Thursday the 14th of February, it's around about half past four. Just popped out in the garden just to check on the progress what my dad's been up to. Uh, we have had some alright weather uh, this week up here in the northeast. Uh, it's been double figures, so we managed to do some bit of work around the garden. Excuse me. What we've gone and done is we've gone and uh, start sorting out the plot. We'll just take my time bit by bit. We'll just give them the first dig over and then uh, we'll hide a load of uh, hen pellets down. We are going to just leave that for a couple of weeks. Uh, if it rains and stuff like that, great. Uh, and then what we'll do is we'll, we'll, dig, we'll dig it over again and we'll hide some more hen pellets down. Just to give that ground a good, good feed. We got hit with some uh, frost and some snow and uh, it basically wiped out my green manure. So what we've gone and done is, is the, what was there, uh, they've all right little sizes. So what was there, we'll just dig it in and then also we'll hide some air uh, pellets down. What we want to do is we're going to dig it over again, like I say guys, and hide some more pellets down. We'll just take my time because we're not going to be planting out and out, out till I think round about the end of April. We're all going to be doing with, with, with tatties though. Uh, we normally do them up here, I think round about Easter time. Uh, so that's when we're going to be setting our uh, potatoes away. Uh, but we'll find a little plot where we're going to be doing that, and then we'll do a video on that how we're going to do our potatoes. Uh, we, we had an alright little crop last year, uh, but like I say, guys, we're not going to do a great deal of potatoes because I'm not really fussed about potatoes. But I will show you uh, outside uh, the green manure and uh, the progress what we're starting to make on the little plot. Starting to take the bubble wrap off the windows in, inside of here. I am 100% aware of that we could get hit with more frost and stuff like that, only in February at the end of the day. Uh, so we'll just take my time, like I say. Uh, I haven't set no seeds off just yet. I am planning on doing some on the weekend though. I'm thinking about bringing my brass, brassicas up. I'm gonna set some brassicas away. Some cauliflowers, some cabbages, uh, kale, stuff like that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put them in these tubs, like that and just sit inside of this uh, greenhouse and then once they get a certain size I uh, prick them out and we'll put them into some cups so I can either put them into these cups first and then knock them into them half pint cups and then straighten the pine cups and that's when they'll be getting planted out when they're going to there What I do is on the weekend, uh, when I bring the, the seeds up, we'll go through them and we'll see which ones we can do. I might have some seeds in there for flowers and all what I can start setting away. Uh, I will get anything arranged inside of here because like I say, we've got some peas and stuff sitting inside of here. These are looking great. Uh, so we're going to get them moved, them there will get moved and they'll get moved inside of the potting shed or we'll put them inside of a cold frame because we've got a cold frame. I set one up and uh, they can sit inside of there. I can't say it's going to do any harm because inside of here, this is not frost free and uh, they've been absolutely fine so i think they'll be all right inside of a cold frame so i'm going to start rearranging stuff around on the weekend and then uh start setting some seed away if it's a nice uh, weekend as well we're going to tackle some more of the pony tunnel because like i say guys i want to get all the rest of the frame done on that the door sorted out uh work out how i want to do this ventilation uh, with the netting and then uh wait till it warms up a bit more so we can lay the plastics out and sort out the plastic stuff but that's about it guys, uh, like I say, just popped up just to check to see how my dad's been getting on, he's done really really good, like, uh, we've still got a lot a lot of work to do, uh, but we'll just take my time, like I say, nothing's going to be getting planted out like uh, any brass cars or out like that till uh, at least the end of April anyway, uh, it's just for spuds, but we'll, we'll pay uh, ground uh, for the potatoes, and then uh, we'll work out where we're going to start putting the rest of the stuff, because like I say guys, I like to try and do a crop rotation if I can, uh, so I will be changing things around a little bit but there we go uh, so what i do is i spin his around and uh we'll just have a quick little look around and just see what he's been up to okay right and guys uh, so we'll have a little look so that there has been uh, turned over so this bed yeah is going to be for the deal yards it's plenty of time like i say guys we'll just uh, get anything sorted prepped up we'll just turn it over keep on feeding it we're not going to be planting out no deal yards till for june july so we're just going to just keep on turning it over, keep on feeding it. Over here, it's starting to turn over. We've had a load of hen pellets all over. Uh, the garlic seems to be doing okay. That is the Casablanca. Well, I think it looks okay. I don't really know.
we managed to turn this bit of plot over and all and give this a good feed with some uh, hen pellet. This is the green manure. Uh, so we digged it in and also doing a bit of a fed as well with some green manure. Uh, with some hen pellet, sorry. Uh, we will keep on, like I say guys, keep on turning it over, turning it over all the time uh, till we're ready to plant out. But yeah, starting to take shape now, starting to look quite good. We'll get the cover off that uh, and just letting the rest of the, the cardboard and stuff like that break down. That's going to be a new no dig bed, hopefully. These onions seem to be doing okay now. Because like I said, they were covered in snow. Uh, and also this year so we're trying to get this all tackled uh, over the weekend uh, just get this, the doorway sorted out and the back end and try and work out how we're going to do some sort of uh, ventilation but yeah guys it's starting to take shape slowly we've just got to get all this ground all prepared because this is where i'm going to start put this where i'm going to put like the flowers here uh, what we're going to grow like i had last year different stuff yeah that's where the dahlias and all that sort of stuff's going to be going All this area is starting to get cleaned up now, we're just uh, burning stuff because we're allowed to have fires till at least uh, up the April time, then that's it, you're not allowed no more fires on this plot after April. Uh, so we're just starting to burn all the last of the uh, the timber, all the crap basically. Uh, but yeah, it's starting to take shape, uh, like I say, we've just got to just sort around the, the pond section out a little bit, move the pots out of the way and just get clear up a little bit and then good to go. That brassica cage will be getting moved. I'm not too sure I'm going to put stuff at this moment. I might put the potatoes where the brassicas are because at this moment of time, they went from that side over to this side. That side over there had the sweet corn. So I might move the sweet corn to this side. I might put the cabbages over there and stuff like that. So I might move the brassica cage over there. Uh, but we'll see, we'll work it all out uh, in the other time. But yeah, I'm pleased with that. Uh, really good progress. Like I say, guys, we'll keep on turning over and we'll keep on uh, filling up a load of uh, hen pellets. So I'll meet you back in the greenhouse, okay? Right, and guys, uh, back here in the greenhouse. So as you've seen there, uh, uh, we're all starting to make a little bit of progress. Uh, like I say, guys, we will be keeping on turning the ground over and we'll be keeping on feeding it with the uh, hen pellets. Well, I took the garden on two years ago. Uh, I did get recommended not to plant anything out till the end of April for uh, getting hit with by a late frost and stuff like that up here in the northeast. Uh, so I have uh, done that for the past two years. Uh, just start to set with plant out with brassicas around about the end of April. Obviously, all that stuff like sweet corn and all that sort of stuff, uh, they go out a lot later once it gets a little bit more warm and stuff. Uh, but I mean, I no no issues or no problems with any frost like that. So I'm just going to stick the stick to what I've been doing, and they're uh, not going to plant now out till April. Obviously, uh, I am going to be doing with spuds because up here uh, in the northeast, uh, they the set them away around about uh, Easter time, I believe. Uh, that's what we've been doing anyway. A lot of people around the plot and all that say that. So we've been doing that for the past uh, two years, and uh, we have had some canning crops off the potatoes. We're not going to do loads of potatoes this year, we're just going to see what we'll get from these uh, seed potatoes and them shop bought ones. We're not even going to mound them up, we're going to dig a hole, we're going to drop the potato in, we're going to hire a, load, a handful of uh, hen pellets in, we're going to cover it up. And we're just going to let them be and just see what we'll get from them. Because what I found when I'd done all the mounds and all that, I didn't see any air, uh, I just didn't see the benefit of it, uh, to be totally honest with you. don't know if it was me doing it wrong or what, I've got no idea. So I'm going to try a different tactic this year, and uh, we're just going to dig a hole, drop the potato in, hype uh, hen pellets in, like I say, and uh, see how they get on. Uh, but yeah, guys, we're not planning out, out till the end of April, like I say. We will get up to the garden on the weekend, we'll set some brassicas and stuff like that away. Uh, got stuff starting to show here, yeah, actually. These are my Elsa Craig onions. As you can see there, they're starting to just show themselves now. So all I'm going to do with them is I'm just going to let them just sit in that pot and just get as big as they can. And then whatever survives, I pull them apart and then we'll plant them out. But I had a lovely crop of them last year. It just didn't have a, very many of them. I think we had about eight. Uh, so I'm hoping to get a lot more this year, like, but we'll see. But that's it, guys. That's around about it. Like I say, I just want to come and just see how we do. was getting on with the garden, uh, digging the soil over. Uh, we'll, like I say, we'll be back up here on the weekend if the weather's all right. 
uh, we'll get some brass gas set away inside of these trays and then uh, we'll start tackling some of the pony tunnel uh, but cheers for watching guys and hopefully i'll catch you on the weekend right hello everyone hey welcome back it is now saturday the 20th of february we've just popped out in the garden because uh, we plan to set some seed away i've got my bag here with all the seeds in uh, i'm going to go through them to see what brass gas we can set away uh, some cabbages and stuff like that uh, like I say guys, uh, I, I'm not going to set a load away, uh, I will spread them, spread them out uh, throughout the next couple of weeks now and uh, see how they get on, so we've got different ones going at different times. I'm going to use a multi-purpose compost, uh, but I am going to add some sharp sand and a bit of perlite inside of it. I'm going to put them in these trays, so I'll probably just half these trays and just put two sets of seed in each one. Like I say, I'll go through them, see what I can sow, and like I say, I'm not going to do them all. And see how they get on. The ones where I trailed out at the back, uh, for I've done a few weeks of back, they're coming through nicely now, so it's warm enough. Uh, hopefully, we don't get any more freezing cold spells, but you just don't know. Like I say, we're only in February, uh, so we we'll have to see. But that's what I'm going to do. I do need to clear these benches a little bit, so I'm going to just rearrange stuff around. And uh, once I've done that, I get all the trays set up, and then what we'll do is uh, we'll go through the seed and see what seed I'm going to be sowing. See what time it is and then I might tackle some of the airframe on the pony tunnel. Uh, it's not too bad out there, it's not cold and out like that. Uh, it's raining a little bit, but very light uh, on and off. Uh, so I might be able to tackle some of that airframe, but we'll see, we'll see how we'll get on. So what I do guys is, I get everything sorted inside the yard, just clear it up a little bit, and then uh, get it all set up, and then we'll have a quick little look. Because like I say, these need to be moved. Now, these peas are looking really good. So I might start putting one of the cold frames outside, and they can sit in all the cold frames but at this moment of time i'll rearrange them somewhere and then uh, we'll crack on with these seeds and see what we want to do okay right guys uh, so this here is the multi-purpose compost i just put some sharp sand in you can see there and also just a little bit of perlite and like i say this is just for we uh, seeds sit in the little seed trays down there but as you can see I cleared some space, uh, there's all the, the peas and stuff, and with sweet peas. These are some brassicas I sold ages ago, which are coming through nicely. That is the Swiss chard. The mustard brown leeks are starting to come through now, so these have been sat in the greenhouse, so these should be alright. These are the Elsa Craigs, they're starting to all come through now. Uh, I'm just going to let them just sit in them pots, and just see what, how they get on. Hopefully I'll get some decent onions from them, but we'll see. And also over there are my dad's peas. Some of them are looking quite laggy, uh, but not worry about because like I say guys, we'll knit them back anyway. So I'll get the trays set up, then we'll have a quick little look, okay? Right and guys, uh, I'm starting to sort through some we seed now. Just going through them, see what I'm going to uh, set away. Uh, I've got these two trays here, so I will split these in half. And uh, what we'll do is we'll just see uh, where I can go through. So I might do some uh, more of the Swiss chard. Uh, I might do some of the beet. And then we'll look at some cabbages or some kale or something like that. And we'll set away. Uh, but what I'll do is I'll get them set up. I'll get some set away and we'll have a quick little look. Okay. Right and guys, so in these two trays here, like I say, I'm going to set four sets of seed away. So this one here is the Swiss chard. Uh, rainbow that is the beetroot rainbow uh, this is the red drumhead uh, this is a uh, cabbage hopefully for pickling and this is the broccoli and this variety is called calabris i think that, that's how you pronounce it so i'm going to set them away we'll look over to the chard as you can see the seed's quite big now them seed there, I know for a fine fact, once you plant one of them seed, you could get up the three seedlings out of that. Uh, because that's what happened when I done them ones over there. Uh, so that's going to be the same case as the beetroot. So I'm not going to set loads of them away. I'm just going to spread a couple of them about on them ones. And then same here. And like, like I say, uh, in the next couple of weeks, we'll set some more away. Uh, so I crack on with them. I get them sorted. And then we'll get them placed over here. And then we'll go through some cabbages and some kale. And then uh, we'll see what else we can do, uh, set away some flowers and that. But we'll see how we'll get on, we'll get these uh, set away now, okay? 
right and guys so there you have it that is some seeds set away so we've done some beetroot we've done some swiss chard we've done some broccoli and also we've done some a uh, red cabbage that is a cabbage called red drumhead uh, hopefully it's for pickling that is the plan uh, i am going to set a lot more seed off uh, we're going to do some some tomorrow and also we're going to be doing some through the week next week as well uh, but yeah we'll just see what comes from these once you start popping up and stuff like them ones there uh, and they get a certain size we'll start putting them out and we'll put them into cups and stuff and then we'll pop them on uh, till they're ready to go outside and as you can see there we've got a lot of uh, pellets down out there the ground's been turned over and also we're going to just keep on digging it in and hide more pellets down so we'll get a good feed but yeah guys i'll get this lid clean and i'll hide that on top of there and uh, that, that's round about it for now uh, like I say, I was going to set some more seed away today, but time is getting on, and I've still got a few jobs where I need to tackle outside of there. Uh, so that's around a bit about it for the day, guys. Uh, I'll be back with you tomorrow, and uh, we'll do some more bits and bobs. Hopefully, I can tackle a little bit of the greenhouse, and uh, we've got all that sorted and tied up. Okay, so I'll catch you tomorrow, okay? Right, guys, it is now Sunday morning. Uh, just back down here in the greenhouse. Uh, just been to the top of the pony tunnel there because I'm just messing around with it a little bit with the door frame, just having a little idea as what I'm going to be doing. Uh, what I do is I take this up to the top of the garden and have a little look. Uh, I might set some more seed away today, uh, it seems to be a nice enough day, so I might do a couple more trays or something else, uh, but we'll have a little look at that. But what I do is I take this up to the garden and uh, we're going to have a little look at the doorway, what I'm thinking about doing. Okay. Right guys, we've got to the top of the garden, we'll have a look. Uh, as you can see here, all the ground is looking really, really good now. Uh, plenty of hen pellets on it. Like I say, in the next couple of weeks, we'll go to dig over again and we'll feed up with some more hen pellets. Uh, but they're breaking down nicely. Uh, I am having eye jazz about this pond. Uh, I don't know if I want to keep it or get rid of it or uh, or what. I really don't know. Because uh, I am yeah, thinking about moving my trees. So I've got a pear tree and an apple tree over here. So what I'm thinking about doing is, is putting it along this fence, chopping the top off and just training it along the fence. So that's what we want to do uh, with the trees here. Uh, that needs to be done ASAP and it gives them more space and you have to do all that stuff. Uh, but as you can see here guys, so I got this bit of timber from B&Q, uh, 2 by 2 And what we want to do is, I'm just going to just cut along there and then bringing it in the inside. I will be putting the skirts all the way around it first though. Same as on this side, yeah. That's exactly the same. And the gap in between there is 33 inches. So that's going to be like the doorway. Obviously that's just a support in the middle. And then I'm going to do the same at the back as well. And then we're going to work out how I'm going to put the netting stuff on. And then it'll just be the plastic then. And then just building the door. Uh, so that's the plan, so I'm going to crack on with this a little bit, uh, any videos that I do, uh, I upload and get them uploaded. But uh, I'll crack on with this and then also I'll get these trees sorted out as well. Right and guys, I uh, don't know if you can see very well, but as you can see there, that is the frame in. So I will be cutting there and cutting there. Uh, the plastic will wrap around this and then get stitched down the side of this bit, yeah. So like I say, it's around about 33 inches. Yeah, I'm just starting to stitch the skirt on along the bottom now. As you can see. So we are starting to make progress. Yeah, I will put a bit of support at the top. Yeah, because it's high enough for me to get under. So I will put a little bit of a support at the top. But there we go guys. Looking really good. Well pleased with it. Right and guys, uh, just quickly popped you inside of the pot and shed before I go back up the top of the garden and tackle some more of the pony tunnel. Uh, I've gone and give these a little bit of a feed of some sulfate of potash. I have gone and watered it in. Uh, so that's it for now. Uh, I'll leave that for a couple of months uh, until the flowers start coming on. And what I do is I give them a little feed of some uh, seaweed and stuff like that. Uh, some comfy if I've got any. Uh, but that should do them for now. So these are their first year runners. We're all sorting out the second year runners now. They're going to be going in the bath. Uh, sorry, the sink. We have dad sorting out at the moment. I will give them some uh, pot ash as well. Uh, but we're just going to wait till he sorts it out. And then we'll go up and have a little look. Uh, so I'm going to go back up the pony tunnel and tackle uh, a bit more of that. Uh, but quick little update on my first year strawberry runners. I did exactly the same last year. I brought these in. 
I fed them with some potash and I kept them inside of the potting shed and the greenhouse and I had some lovely, lovely, lovely fruits. Yeah, but there we go. Quick update, guys. Right, guys, uh, back up here at the Pony Tunnel. Uh, time's starting to get on now, uh, but I have managed to get some jobs done on this Pony Tunnel. So, like I say, that's going to get chopped there and chopped there because this is a door here. The plastic will be coming tight around here, it'll be getting wrapped around here, and then a bit of this, for example. Once it comes round, that will get stitched onto there to hold the plastic in nice and tight. I am going to put another lat like that because that's a metre high, 500 along and at the bottom there that's where my netting's probably going to go or I may have it in the centre, I don't know yet, I'm still making my mind up but I definitely am going to be putting another lat along there. I've got the skirt on around here, I just need to do the skirt along there, just to tie it all up. I managed to get this back end on so all I need to do now is start putting the lat through and things like that so I just need to mess around with it. As you can see there, I kept it all inside of the tube, but we will cover this with some tape and stuff like that just for uh, extra protection before we start putting the plastic on. I will rub all these down with some sandpaper and stuff like that and uh, just make sure everything's all right. I will be putting some uh, spongy tape along the top of this uh, just to protect the the plastics what we put on. Uh, but like I say, it's a nice sized door. I am going to put a little lat along there. But yeah, I, I'm really, really pleased with it. It's looking really, really good. I'll quickly show you at the top of the garden, the strawberries, uh, what my dad's gone and uh, sorted out. So these are the second year strawberries. So I'll quickly show you that and then I'll meet us in the greenhouse and uh, I think we'll call it a day. But there we go, guys. Uh, I'm really pleased with uh, this point until the way it's looking. It's slowly starting to take shape now and just take my time with it, like I say, guys, just to make sure it's all right. And like I say, we'll do all the prep work at the end, get it all sanded down, anything covered, what we need to get covered, what's going to cause damage to the plastics. Uh, try and prevent all that but yeah really pleased with that so catch us over at the little strawberries okay right, guys here uh, i'm going to show you these strawberry runners uh, as you can see we we'll have uh, tucked down the plastic cage uh, we've got a better idea and a better system what we're going to be doing uh, i will show you it it's uh, we're going to be using some washing up pegs and also we're going to be using some washing up line as well uh, but I will show you that, how we're going to do it. This year I was causing too much of a shadow and also it didn't really work and plus we didn't really get a lot of stuff inside of it. Uh, so we'll decide to get rid of it. Uh, if we look over here, these are my strawberry runners. Uh, so these are going to be on the second years. Looking a little bit sorry for themselves, but they're all right. They should pick up inside of this. Uh, it's had some lovely fresh compost in there. We'll own compost, which has been mixed with seaweed and stuff like that. And as you can see there, it's just had a little sprinkle of some uh, sulfate of potash. But there we go. We're going to start taking the cover off that and getting all that uh, sorted out ready as well. Uh, but yeah, guys, this year, like I say, we took it down. Uh, we're going to use a, up, a washing up line and also we're going to be using some washing up pegs. And I'm going to show you a little way what i have sussed out what's going to be much better easier for us to climb inside of and uh, keep it all nice and clean but that is for the future but there we go guys what i do now is i'm inside of the greenhouse right and guys they're back here in the greenhouse so that is it another end to another week uh, managed to get quite a bit done which i'm pleased with uh, managed to make more progress off the pony tunnel uh, got them strawberry runners uh, set away the second year one so hopefully we get some nice fruits off them uh, they're staying outside this year uh, last year the one inside the greenhouse for the first day we had a lovely crop so hopefully this year we're going to have an even better one they will pick up no bother uh, like i say uh, they had a good good frost so hope we get some nice fruits from them managed to get some seed set away so i am going to be setting some more seed away once i get throughout the week next week uh, we'll just do it all in stages bit by bit we'll get some cabbages and stuff like that set away I uh, have got my tomatoes there looking really good at home and stuff like that and the rest of my stuff are on and if we grow right they seem to be doing okay as well uh, but there we go guys uh, just making progress slowly going around uh, getting anything all sorted out uh, I am moving my apple and pear trees uh, they're going to be going on the back fence uh, I will show you how they're going to be going next week uh, also we are going to get rid of the pond as well uh, I'm thinking about doing some sort of uh, raised bed there where I can put some uh, herbs and stuff like that in 
So we're going to look into that. We're going to get the the the, the pond there digged in uh, because we don't really need it to be totally honest with you. We have got the little miniature one there. That will do. It's just wasting the uh, ground. So it's just pointless. Uh, so bit of a change of plan but like i say that's what it's all about uh, just changing things around that brass gap here just come down now because like i say it's taking far too much light off and to be honest with you you can't really get a lot in there and also uh but we still got attacked by the butterflies still managed to get themselves in uh, so i've seen a better idea what would it be doing uh, i will run through it with you and uh, just kind of have a little look uh, we're going to mess around with the new food section a little bit uh, we're going to change that up a little bit uh, we don't want to do with that, we don't want to move it around a bit or what, I, I don't know, because I don't know if it's going to be just wasted land. It's been playing on my head for a little bit now, so that might be a bit of a change of plan as well there as well. Uh, but like I say, we'll go for all that next week, uh, for the week. Uh, I will show you where we're going to be putting my apple trees and my pear trees and how we're going to be doing it and how we're going to be training them along the fence. Uh, that's about it. Uh, so I want to say hello to all my new subscribers. Welcome to my channel. Uh, cheers for all the comments and all the likes off you guys out there. Uh, all of my new subscribers, if you've got any advice or any tips or you have to any advice or anything like that, uh, I fire them over. You fire them over. Uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, like I say, guys, uh, this is the beginners uh, channel for beginners because uh, I am a beginner. Uh, so more learning at the end of the day. Like I say, uh, we've got loads of plans for this growing season. Uh, so. Cheers for watching, cheers for liking, cheers for subscribing, and cheers for all your comments. So hopefully I'll catch up with you next week. Aye.